Hi, if you're interested in becoming a youth justice worker, this video will help you decide if it's the right career for you. I'm going to talk you through what this job is all about, walk you through our youth justice precincts, and explain the application process. I'll also ask you some questions, and if you find yourself answering yes to most of them, then becoming a youth justice worker could be a great career change for you. I'll start with a couple now. Are you passionate about working with young people? Do you enjoy working in a team and supporting others to do their job? If it's a yes to both, stay with me, we're on the right track. So, what is a youth justice worker? We're people who help create change from the inside out. We make youth justice custodial facilities safe and supportive environments. Each day, we set out to give the children and young people in our care the opportunity to learn new skills. We empower them to steer their lives in a positive direction. We are mentors and role models. Inside a youth justice custodial facility, we take on many of the practical roles you might associate with a young person's guardian. We help them establish healthy routines, from waking up to going to bed and caring for themselves. We support young people with their education and goals that reduce their likelihood of reoffending. We reward positive behaviours and challenge antisocial actions. We also help children and young people improve their relationships with important friends and family members back in their communities. We do all this in Victoria's Youth Justice Custodial Facilities, which accommodate children and young people who have been sentenced or placed on remand. We have the new Cherry Creek Youth Justice Precinct near Werribee, and the Parkville Youth Justice Precinct just north of the Melbourne CBD. It's important to remember that, while we have many varied responsibilities as youth justice workers, we are different to youth workers. We work as a team and connect young people with professional services, case managers and specialists that deliver intensive one-on-one -on -one rehabilitation and counselling sessions. We role model positive behaviour while keeping the facility safe and secure for everyone, including the young people, visitors, our staff and the community. We work with vulnerable children and young people, many of whom have experienced trauma, such as abusive family environments, disrupted education, and alcohol and drug misuse. This means there are many challenges and complexities we need to be aware of and try to help them overcome. Progress can feel slow, and it doesn't always move in a straight line, so you need to be resilient. A big achievement for a youth justice worker might be helping a young person engage in programs and activities or giving them positive feedback for showing more respect to themselves and others around them. These changes can seem small, but they're significant steps forward. By promoting and reinforcing good habits and behaviours, we give the children and young people the best chance of a fresh start when they return to their community. By becoming a youth justice worker, you will be joining three teams that will help you grow as a person and grow your career. First, you will be a part of a team of dedicated youth justice workers at a youth justice facility. This team is made up of a diverse group of individuals, crossing a wide range of ages and cultural backgrounds. You will learn so much from your co-workers, both about how to do this job well and about life. You'll build strong relationships and you'll go to work knowing that the people here have your back and you have theirs. Then there's the wider youth justice workforce, which sits within the Department of Justice and Community Safety. Becoming a youth justice worker can be the start of a compelling career working with children and young people and making our community safer. Working in the space can be challenging and complex, so having a grounding as a youth justice worker is a huge head start. Over time, there are many opportunities that could arise. For instance, you might eventually move into the security and emergency response team. People who have strong verbal and de-escalation skills would be good candidates for this group. Or if you're attracted to the rehabilitation side of youth justice, you could consider working in our team of behaviour support specialists. These people help build the capability of our staff to understand and safely respond to complex behaviours. We have teams of culturally and linguistically diverse liaison officers and Aboriginal liaison officers who support young people to engage with their families, cultural backgrounds and community networks. There are opportunities for promotion for those who will thrive in leadership positions, such as unit supervisors and unit managers. We also have business support and admin roles, maintenance jobs, case management roles and much more. All these opportunities are within our youth justice workforce and within your reach. 
The third team you'll be a part of is the Victorian Public Service, also known as the VPS. There are many benefits to being a public servant. We know that we're serving the community doing something that Victorians believe is important. We also feel supported by professional, development and education plans, as well as the Employee Health and Wellbeing Program that offers free short-term counselling. Being part of the VPS also gives us the chance to move to other roles with the Victorian Government. We have the first opportunity to apply for many secondments and ongoing roles through the Jobs and Skills Exchange, a jobs board just for public service staff. Do you see becoming a youth justice worker as the start of a career that could lead you in many exciting directions? If it's a yes, then you'll want to know what we are looking for when we recruit youth justice workers. The good news is you can come from a range of professional backgrounds and be a great youth justice worker. When we look back at your work experience, we're interested in seeing how you've worked well in a team. We are looking for clear, effective communicators who can take the initiative and solve challenges with bright ideas. We want to hear about how you've shown you have compassion and empathy for other people, including children, and how you've been able to display resilience to recover from setbacks and keep a positive frame of mind. These attributes are so important in new youth justice workers because we can learn everything else we need to know in training. As a new youth justice worker, you will kickstart your career with foundational training and enrollment in our Certificate 4 in Youth Justice. This eight-week program sets us up to succeed from our first day working in a custodial facility and is complemented by on-the-job training. The Certificate 4 qualification will be highly regarded when applying for ongoing positions and more senior roles too. After finishing your training, casual staff can nominate when they're available to work in the weeks ahead and full-time staff move on to a rotating fortnightly roster. We work a variety of shifts up to 12 hours long. These longer shifts can be intense, but they are balanced out with a good amount of time away from work. This means that you can enjoy work-life balance. You can see an example of a typical youth justice workers fortnightly roster here. For every five hours of work you do, you will get a half hour meal break. You will have to work every second weekend and public holidays as required, but you will be paid penalty rates on top of your usual salary. You'll find that these penalty rates will significantly increase your take home pay. And that's why we say that most youth justice workers earn well above the base rate of pay. Fortnightly rosters are written up weeks in advance, meaning you can plan your life around your upcoming work. We encourage people of any gender, age, religion, sexual orientation, disability and cultural background to apply. We are also committed to the Victorian government's promise to increase the number of veterans working in the public sector. If you identify as Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander, we hope you will reach out to our Aboriginal employment team. The Department of Justice and Community Safety is dedicated to increasing our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander workforce. We offer additional support, including an Aboriginal business partner, to guide you through the recruitment process. If you end up joining us, you will also be able to access the department's Aboriginal employee network. Thanks so much for taking the time to learn more about becoming a youth justice worker. This is a challenging and rewarding job that is just the beginning of a meaningful career helping children and young people build better lives. If you still have more questions, visit this website or email this address. We hope you apply and we look forward to seeing you on the team. Good luck.